You already know what time it is. May 13th, 2022. What's in a shop today? Our guys. Okay, okay, okay. Robocop bundle. Oh, he's riding the robot. Okay, um, the Robocop bundle. I was wondering what the back bling was going to be. Equip the leg 209 as a back bling or a pickaxe. Okay. So this can also be our pickaxe. Oh, he looks chonkers though. Traversal emote. That is fun. That is really fun. <laughs> and then this is the uh, harvesting tool, which is also the back bling. The leg of the robot. Okay. If you like to use me as your supporter creator, that's P-I-Z-0. Pizza with a zero. You know, we're getting it. Yes. I'm curious if the footsteps sound mechanical or heavy at all. Normal footsteps. Um, now we know. I'm a little disappointed because obviously his footsteps in the movie are like boom, boom. You know what I mean? Like it's not a gaming legend skin. So I'm not super shocked that we don't have any footsteps but as you can see the back bling when paired with the tool will visually unequip completely from your back once it's in your hand i like the little sparks coming off of the wires there really fun i haven't swung it yet i promise i have not swung it yet again the glider we don't really have to my knowledge right now like top of my head anything really like law enforcement related with lights on top so I thought it might be kind of fun, and it is like an older movie as well. But look at this bad boy. Let's see what we got for the wraps here. I just thought Boogeyman was simple because his his pistol is just all black anyways in the movie. Boogeyman looks great, like we thought it would. Heartbeat. Um, no spoilers if you haven't seen the movie yet. But if you know, you know, I guess. And then the assassin wrap here. This will go bad with the okay yeah it looks kind of bad from that pov but yeah boogeyman boring but still pretty clean with the black accents equip and equip okay got some sparks some sparks flying off a little bit of smoke you know it doesn't sound like it would hurt as much as i thought it was going to but from different POVs here. It looks really cool. Um, of course, it wasn't going to be like super weird moving like he is in the movies. It'd be really hard to have the same like clunky movement. Impact here is pretty average though at night as well. Yeah, like we do have like the sparks that come off of it. A little bit of smoke trail as well. And like, I mean, that's pretty much it. And, ooh, I always forget the traversal emote. This is great. It goes so slow though, guys. I am W keying right now. I'm auto running. And this thing is so slow. <sighs> oh my gosh, it looks funny though. I was wondering if the footsteps were going to look, or excuse me, the footsteps were gonna sound similar to something like this. That would have been something really cool. They've done it with Gaming Legend stuff. I think the only missed opportunity is the footstep sound on RoboCop here. But regardless, should be pretty easy. It's combo time. I actually had a lot of fun finding combos for RoboCop, and I didn't find it to be that difficult either. In terms of um, skins with the back bling, there's a lot of robotic stuff for sure. Sword of the Daywalker looks clean. Um, it's a bag of weapons, even though he has his sidearm that comes out of his right thigh that would have been a cool built an emote where he like does the <laughs> spins his gun around and puts it back in anyways um a lot of i guess yeah like a lot of metal robotic stuff here um it's a robot on his back i thought it was funny okay but that looks good the buzz pack looks great chow down i like it um another um law enforcement type back bling there galactic pack doesn't look terrible at all um, I, it's it's really difficult to find the right shade of like metal that RoboCop is wearing. So I tried to go more of like a little bit darker to go with the accents um, 
on the outfit other than trying to match the exact color so you know that's kind of what i went after um it's also based in detroit the original robocop so i thought it would be cool to put a pair of handcuffs on there obviously um law enforcement to put some detroit uh, lions on there for the back bling detroit pistons as well and um, we have the signal jammer and then the silencer looks pretty clean now the back bling I think there's a lot of things you could, I guess, make up a storyline for with the back when we have aim here. It just kind of makes sense. Um, Leviathan, maybe it's part of a spacecraft now. You know what I mean? A lot of different avenues you can take the back to kind of build a theme around it. We have the visitor as well. The scientists look good. Master Chief is not bad at all. I do like it on Master Chief, although it is a little bulky. I'm still like robotic feeling, mechanical feeling. Tony Stark is super smart, so he definitely has this on his back sometimes. Maybe you can build a story out of like, you know, Stormtrooper here with maybe that's like a spacecraft leg. Um, Astro Assassin, the female Robocop, had to throw it on her. Um, beast Mode, super bulky, but it actually looks pretty good. The color is almost spot on. So that's a really fun theme there. Um, Dr. Sloan is a scientist, so you know she's building robots. I thought I might as well put it on her. I can show you the original styles here as well. I like it on the third style here, the battle suit style. Not a color scheme, but still. Jules, she builds things. She's a welder. She probably helped build that. I'm just saying. Um, Kit Bash is fun. A lot of stuff from the junkyard. So maybe there's a spare robotic leg just laying around somewhere in the junkyard. Mega team leader. <laughs> it's a fun theme though. A really fun theme here. Check it out. It's a fun theme, all right? It's fun. That's what it came with. Um, T8 Hundo had to do it. Um, so this is kind of cool. Cypress Nell, um, not, the color scheme, not so much, but he is kind of like bulky in nature. That's kind of cool. Um, Lockbot here kind of made sense. Um, Metal Mouth looks pretty good. Does have a bulky neck with the armor there. Arctic looks really cool too. We also put it on Zadie. Um, we have Robo Kevin here just for the robotic theme here. Same with Robo Ray. And then uh, Zadie. Zadie looks good. So overall, this is cool because it's something I, I, I like I knew about. Obviously, it's kind of... It's a lot more enjoyable when I know what I'm reviewing. So that was fun. I love that they got the uh, the robot in here that they originally were going to use for law enforcement, but then it kind of like went crazy. I don't want any spoilers here if you haven't watched the original RoboCop, but still, I think that was really cool. It walks super slow though. I wish the footsteps of RoboCop sounded similar to this though. That is the only negative I can say about RoboCop. Some of you might not like it. It's fine, but I do like the background. Very 80s for sure with the item shop tabs. And with that being said, like the video is always appreciated. Subscribe because it's free. Does supporter creator P-I-Z-0 with the item shop. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys on the live stream. See ya.